Hello, my name is Sharon Sarai. I'm Training Delivery Manager for First Practice Management Group and I'm here today to talk about the subject of active signposting. So, if we look at the definition of active signposting, which I don't believe there is a clear one, let's just take it from a patient's point of view. So a patient walks into the surgery or telephones and is wanting an appointment with the GP. Now, our receptionist or our active signposters will then signpost that patient to the relevant survey. So it might not be a GP that they actually need to see. So they will have a discussion with them and then they will signpost either to say an internal service, advanced nurse practitioners or an external service. Okay. So why is this happening and why is it happening now? Why is active signposting suddenly the buzzword for the NHS? Well, we know that general practice is in crisis and we know that the King's Fund did a, a lovely report back in May 2016 and they were talking about understanding the pressures in general practice. Workload has increased, um, greater patient expectations, GPs are retiring but there's difficulties in recruiting and also secondary care activities are now being moved across to primary care i.e. more pressure. Our patients are living longer and they have more complex conditions and as we train our new registrars they, they're not wanting to become partners in general practice so they're going down the salary route. The list we could share could go on for a while. Okay, so how did active signposting start? Well frankly some of you have already been signposting and, and you've been doing it for a long time uh, internally. You've been signposting to your nurses, uh, maybe to your midwives. That work has already been started. What's brought it to the forefront is the document General Practice Forward View, a 60 page document which highlights that now the government is recognising that they need to invest funding to help practices get the right sort of training and support to do active signposting well. So best practice is being looked at and also shared learning from those practices that are already doing it. In particular, plans to grow and develop and support the workforce, that's key, and also to ease the pressures of workload and the increasing demand on GPs. And again, with this come the plans to support care redesign, ways to be innovative and do things a little bit differently. Here at Thornfields, uh, I'm really pleased to say that we offer a suite of courses which include the AS programme, and this consists of four levels and each become more advanced and progressive. Now, these courses are developed and are aligned with the HEE model. So for you as managers, what's important to know? It's important that you recognise that the CCGs are responsible for distributing the funds for reception and clerical training and you need to make sure that you know where that, that funding is. It's about helping patients who sometimes see the receptionist as a barrier. So again, we're now going down the route of enhanced communication skills, all good training for future receptionists. And it's also about increasing their job satisfaction. We hear in studies um, and surveys that you know, they get to a certain level and their job satisfaction diminishes. Here, they've got something new, something innovative, something that they can really focus on as a challenge, and this will increase their job satisfaction. And it's also about reducing those hospital readmissions. So there's a, a, a good return on investment for that. Now, what happens with the GPs? because they're the ones that have got no appointments and they've got increased workload. Well, it's about freeing up their time. And active signposting, it's been shown, can help with that. And it's about patients' needs being met, patients having more control over managing their own conditions, so educating them well, patients having increased regular contact with all the different services that are around them, and using the right services for their need. There'll be shorter waiting lists for patients so that they can see the most appropriate person. And again, better use of your team members' skills 
they're a great asset for your organisation, so really utilise their skills well. So my question to you is, is your action plan ready for active signposting? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.